What's going on Dope Nation? Today I'm going to show you guys how to do Rich Toff inside of the Easter Egg on the map Buried. First, you're going to need the Time Bomb from the Mystery Box. Second, you're also going to need the Paralyzer from the Mystery Box. After that, you're going to want to grab the Gaff Knuckles, pull out your Paralyzer, and go around the map and charge these orbs in these locations. This one's outside the bar. Charge it up, you'll know when it's finished. Second is in the Mines. Third one is outside of Vulture Aid. And the last one is outside of the Witch's House before the Maze. Once it's finished charging up, you'll hear an audio cue letting you know that step's complete. Next, give Leroy the booze, having his back face the fountain. He'll run into it and destroy it. Next, go to the fountain that's located inside the maze, blow it up with an explosive. After that, you're going to want to collect the parts for the guillotine. Guillotine's located outside the bar for those who don't know. Once you have the parts, just go ahead and build it. Once it's fully built, you're going to head over to this area and you're going to see a lantern floating around the sky. Just knock it out of the sky. Here we're using grenades. You might also be able to shoot it. I personally haven't tested. Other than that, just run up to it when it falls and press X to grab it. Next, we're going to need to charge the lantern. For this, you're going to want to head into the witch's house. Once inside the witch's house, you just want to kill the witches. After each kill, you'll hear an audio tone. It'll be an ascending pitch going up to a higher and higher pitch. Once it stops, that's when you know that the step's complete. But just to be safe, just run through the house, kill each witch on your way. Once you get out the back, go back through the back entrance and come back out the front. I'm not entirely sure how many witches it is. I don't recall. I believe I want to say it was between 8 and maybe 10 or 11. Other than that, we're just going to finish this clip and then we'll get on to the next step. Once you get out of the witch's house, your lantern will be fully charged. Now you just need to jump over the roof next to the saloon and hold X to place your lantern. After this is complete, before you start the next step, you're going to need to have all your players buy vulture aid. Then go to the mines and punch these three signs with your gamma knuckles. Here's a view of third person, what happens after you hit the last one. A wisp will appear, and it's going to bounce around the map each time a player touches it. Just have all four of your players scatter around through the map, and just bump into it each time the wisp appears. Eventually, it'll travel its full distance and, and it'll head into the guillotine. I'm just going to show you the rest of this footage just so you can get a general idea of where the spots that it's going to go to. Once it heads over to the guillotine and makes its full circuit, we'll continue on with the next step. Now that the wisps made it to its final location, you just want to kill the zombies with the glowing fist right in this area. Doesn't matter if you melee or shoot them. You're just going to want to kill enough, and you'll see when it's stopped because the souls will stop going into the guillotine. Once you stop seeing souls going into the guillotine, just throw your time bomb on it. Have all four players touch the guillotine to activate your time bomb. This will activate the infinity round. During this round, you're going to see all the four characters scattered around the map. I believe there's about 16 bodies, one of which has the switch for the guillotine in it. You're just going to have your players scatter up and hold X to search. And it's either going to say you found a switch or you didn't. Here I'm just showing you some of the different perspectives so you know and have a general idea of where to go. This particular zombie had the switch. Now you just activate your time machine to go back in time and build the switch onto the guillotine. Once it's completed building, just press X and you're going to want to run through the witch's house. This is where it gets a little confusing. You're going to see four switches, red, green, blue, yellow. 
have each of your four players stand next to a switch and switch them on one at a time. Here we did yellow, green, blue, and then red. After all four switches have been hit, one will spark. Here you can see blue sparking, which means we got it in the correct order. That means blue is going to be our third switch. Now you have to reset the switches. So you're going to want to run through the witch's house and back out to the maze. Your switches are going to be in different order, possibly on different doors. So we know that blue is going to be our third one. So this time we're going to hit green, red, blue, yellow. In a second you'll see yellow will spark, meaning that's our fourth switch. Do this one more time until you figure out the sequence. Next, you're going to hit X on that fountain you just saw, and that's going to start one of four pop-up target locations. I'm going to resume the rest of the game audio, and you can see the other three out of the four locations. Other than that, guys, I want to give a huge shout-out to Play to the Max, Mr. Somebody Epic, and Squiddy Titan. Those are their gamer tags. They helped me out a lot. They played with me in this video. They allowed me to use the recording. Other than that, guys, if you liked it, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs up anyways. Dope out. What exactly?